All right, here we are, 8169 Sunview. There's the neighborhood. Nice little neighborhood. And Butterfield Ranch development. Asphalt shingle roof. Exteriors in good shape. Property is built in 2002. Here's the entry. Straight north. You come into a kind of a second living room. I'll take you down here. Um, really nice 12 by 24 inch gray tiles. Sorry, six by 24 inch. Very modern design, the grays and whites. Wood folk blinds again. Okay, so you have this room. So here's the dining room. These types of rooms are pretty versatile. You know, you have a light up here. You could make it a dining area. You know, it's really just a sitting area. A lot of people make it a game room, um, you know, kid room, sitting area, pool table. I mean, I've seen tons of things with these type of um, shotgun style homes that have this extra bonus room is really what it is. So here we are again, walk you down into living room kitchen. This looks like a, uh, I think it's a Formica actually. Looks good, but I think it's a, yeah, it's a Formica. Very clean, um, white cabinets. I think they're spray painted. Yeah, they're actually painted. So this was the original color, only painted on the outside. That's a do it yourself kind of thing, but they look good. Um, the stainless steel hardware. LG microwave, LG gas range, LG fridge, bottom freezer. We'd have to see if that's included or not, probably negotiable. And your LG stainless steel dishwasher. So here's um, living room. Not huge, again, because you have that other nice light fixture upgraded. Same with the entry, um, upgraded fixtures there. All, you know, have been with that nickel and glass kind of finish. Bathroom one. Let's see what the shower looks like. Yeah, pretty basic um, tub though. Walk in with the tub. And here's a doorway back to the kitchen in the hallway. Here's bedroom one, pretty small. You know, he's got a computer though in here and his bed. Sliding, standard, you know, type closet. Here's bedroom two. Nice, uh, again, grays and white design. Same style, style closet. Carpet in here. It's okay, car needs to be cleaned. They took down all the pictures they had, which is fine. And again, there we go to the master. Pretty big walk-in. is single vanity but a large counter space and that same style uh, garden tub with the fiberglass surround really good condition um, tile looks to be in good workmanship um, quality and this is probably the biggest bedroom we've seen for a master you have vault ceilings in here which is nice uh, looks like they have a baby here and they have all of that furniture in this room and it's still plenty big and this is the backyard so you have a door here and then that's the living room nice mountain views from the backyard um, you got a fire pit and some dead grass that wall 
walls a little bit shorter but these walls are good height for them. And these are the two sides. 2002 built. Their AC is down there. Um, let me show you the garage real quick. I think it was upgraded that coil so some of the AC components have had to work. And again when we talk about ACs, the outdoors, the condenser, the indoor in the garage has the furnace and the coil and the coil is part of the air conditioning. That's what actually uh, creates the cold air that blows through the furnace when you have the AC running. So here's the garage path, but here's the, um, so you can tell this furnace is probably original, which is fine, 2002. But here, um, April 2012, this coil has been replaced. So that's good. And the water heater's next to it. 